Hi everyone and welcome to Will and Tom's Excellent Adventure. My name is Tommy Ross and I'm coming at you from the very comfortable lazy boy in the lounge situated here in the very beautiful Turangi, a place where trout, fishing, hunting and of course drinking is in abundance. And coming at you from the deepest of the deep, the place that boasts the largest power in the world, the place that time forgot. He's live coming at you from his very own dinner table in the beautiful bluff. And you might just hear his wife shelling some kinner and power in the background. So before I intro, intro my good friend Willie, hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the bell icon for more up and coming vids. Also, we've got a special announcement at the end of this uh, vid, so stay tuned. Over to you, my friend Willie. Sure, Tommy. Thanks for the intro, bro. Hey, um, I got a couple of questions that were asked of me, uh, one pertaining to diving and one to my job. First of all, my diving, um, what preparation or routine do I get into before I drop into the water? So you're on the boat, you're ready to jump in. You usually chuck your mate in to say, is it cold, bro? <laughs> if it isn't, oh well, you got to get in anyway. So yeah, mask is probably important because you need to have that visibility under the water. So a lot of people, they spit in it and wash it out and the saliva must be an anti-fog agent. But lately we've found that toothpaste, putting toothpaste in there and swirling that around, yeah, it actually works as well. And it smells like you have minty breath, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, dropping into the water, I usually try and sit down on the bottom a bit longer than I can, uh, than I have to, and that sort of stretches the lungs. And as you do that a few times, you get, to get used to it and you've got a better bottom time. Um, I hope that info helped. Uh, about my job, yeah, I drive uh, forklifts. I drive the mobile crane. So the forklifts, I don't know if you've seen them on the wharf, is either top loaders or reach stackers. My choice of machine is a, the reach stackers. They're so much more versatile uh, compared to the top loaders. Yeah, the crane, that's an awesome uh, experience as well. It's just hard walking up them 132 steps, but hey, you get over it. <laughs> you have a huff and a puff and have a bit of a smoke at the top and then you get into it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a bit about my job. Uh, I'll hand it back over to you, Tommy. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Willie. Oh, well, um, yeah, I just want to just talk a little bit more about the question that we had um, earlier, which was about fishing on the lake. Um, I didn't mention the trawling. So we, we, we have trawling, we have harling, and we have flat fishing on the lake. And all of those, are, 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 your boat's going at walking speed, pretty much. And um, with, with trawling, we use lead lines, and um, they have 10 colours on them, and each colour represents 10 metres. So it gives you a good indication of how deep you want to you want to put your lure at. Um, there's a lot of different types of lures that you can use and and different times that you use them. Um, they've got cobras, they've got spinners. There's all these different names for them. That's that's what that's that's trawling. Um, with harling, we use one lead line with a long trace, really long trace on it. So what that does is it puts your lure just just below the water surface. Um, that's the time when harling comes on is when the fish are feeding, feeding, feeding on the water, when uh, insects and stuff and dragonflies and all of that, they're feeding everything off the top of the, off, off the, top of the lake. And you'll know when that time comes up is, is usually summertime, it's always summertime, um, and you'll see them splashing on, on the top of the lake, so um, on the top of the water, sorry. So that's when harling is a really, really good, um, good, good thing to use. Flat fishing, it's a it's a totally it's a totally different type of um, trawling. Um, you use a steel line, and at the end of that steel line, you use banana shaped lures. And what that does is it takes it to the bottom. You use you you'll, you'll be fishing in um, sandy parts of, of Lake Taupo on it, and what it does is they just bounce around on the bottom and attracts the fish. And when the fishing's on, yeah, you can you can really um, have a good good time with it. Um, about my job, yeah, I, I did get a I did get a question asked to me from a person by the name of um, Smegma Fanny. 
Yeah. Oh. Oh, you get a you get all different types get all different types of people last place. Yeah. But anyway, um Mrs. Smackma or Miss My Mrs. Miss or Mrs. Smackma Fanny, I'll answer your question, but first um because because of the contract on my job, um we are highly restricted. We can't place any any photos or videos of our job on on, on um social media. Um, we also may have a, a just just for well just for um, privacy reasons um, I'm going to explain about our job but I'm going to change all the names of, of the of the people in our job you know just for privacy reasons yeah anyway so yeah, the way I can show you is um, yeah I'm a pretty good artist you know I did a lot of drawing I've been doing a lot of drawing and I've spent hours and hours hundreds of hours burning the candle at both ends doing these drawings you know, and this is a pretty, pretty good likeness. You know, when I show you these, <laughs> you know, you're going to be thinking, I know that person. I really know that person on me. He's done a really good job at it. So anyway, just a little story about that. And, and what got me into being an artist was um, yeah, when I was really, really young. I remember we got these, um, we were getting every year, we were getting these uh, cards sent to us before Christmas. And there were, there were paintings done by um, people they were painting with their feet and painting with their mouths, you know, and I was looking at it and I was thinking, man, I can do that. I can do that. You know, so I just went bold and head first. Every hour, straight after, straight after school, I'd be in there painting with my mouth, painting with my feet, practicing religiously, spending those hours at it, you know, and then I'd show my mum, show my mum a, a picture and she'd look at me and go, that looks really nice, son. And I'd say to her, why you look at me like that? She goes, that's a very special smile for you, my son. Anyway, you know, anyway, after months and months and all these hours of practice, I, you know, I finally sat back, looked at all, all, all the paintings that I'd done and all the drawings I'd done with my feet in my mouth, and I thought, man, you suck. <laughs> so I decided to freehand it. <laughs> You know, and I've been freehanding there ever since then, you know, and I don't really put, put many pictures out because, you know, I just like to keep it private, keep it private. So I've done all the drawings of our, um, of our crew and, and, and of our job, and I'll explain it to you fellas right now. So here's a, a picture of our crew. Okay. The person in the middle, and I had to change these names. Her name is Mo. Okay, now, she's the sister of our boss. Here's our boss over here. You notice that we're all wearing helmets, The safety comes first. Safety is priority. Excuse me, guys. And we always promote safety within our crew, within all the crews and in all of the forests. Okay, so this is our crew. Now, the next picture is of our friend Geordie. Now, it starts in the forest. He goes in, he cuts all our trees down. He trims them and lays them out. Lays them all out over here. Yep, so Geordie drives a, a machine called a Waratah. Okay, so that's the start of our job. Okay, next. Oh, bro, there's some, there's some art there. There's some more Amazing. wicked art there. Amazing. Oh. Okay, so next we have a skitter. Okay, you see all the trees in the in the in the grapple. So our friend Rumor, he goes in there and he picks up all the trees that Jordy cuts down and he brings them out to a skid site. Okay, so the skid site is where I work, and I work on a machine called a processor. There's me. Oh, look, got my helmet on, got my helmet on. Okay, so what I do is um, I'm given what they call a cut list. And I cut the trees. I, I, I what you call, log make them. And I cut them into the appropriate lengths so that they go to different mills. There's different grades, different sizes, different lengths. So that's my job, what I do. Okay. So after that... We have a couple of diggers out there. Okay, so the boss is driving one. 
and Johnny's driving the other one. And so what they do is they take the logs off me, they spread them out, and we have our skid workers that go, go over them and check them. And these are our skid workers here, which is Jin and Mac. Okay, so they do our QC, our quality controls. So these guys work together safely as well, very safely. And um, as soon as, as soon as Jin and Mac have gone over our trees and marked them to go to the appropriate mills, then the diggers put them into stacks where our friend Manu loads them onto the logging trucks and the logging trucks take them to the mill. Now you will notice that none of those machines have got smoke coming out of them because we do really, really look at environmental safety as well. Okay, and this one here, this is Uncle Bob. Now Uncle Bob is drinking, he's driving and he's smoking drugs. So we do not ever want anybody and we will never ever promote anything like that in our videos of drinking, driving or smoking drugs. Thank you. So I'll leave it over to you now, Willie, for our next subject. Awesome, bro. Ah, yeah, it's like real life drawings, man. Oh, Jeez. Oh, the likeliness is real uncanny. Real uncanny. <laughs> oh, hey, and if you guys ever want to recognize Jim, buy these, hey. and they, we're always looking for sponsors. So if you ever want to buy any of these, just let me know. I can print them out for you. <laughs> or the originals, you know, I can get, I can, I can, um, you know, I'll give you the originals. They're a little bit dearer. Oh, sorry, Willie. All good, mate. Hey, um, time to get serious for a moment. A bit more info about the last video on the technology sites. If you'd like to be a free member for life and uh, get access to travel and accommodation, website savings, uh, ride share, um, bill pay negotiation services, or our new product that's coming out soon, just post message one of us and we'll hook you up. That's all I had to say, Tommy. Back to you, brother. And that's free. That's free for, for life for everybody that wants to wants, wants to um, be part of that. But anyway, guys, yes. yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks for listening. And um, we'd like to announce that uh, we're going to be having a competition coming up really soon. Um, we won't give you the details yet, but, but at, our, at the end of our next video, we'll let you know about our, um, about our uh, new competition coming up. But all I can say is, to be in the draw, all you have to do is like and share our videos. Simple as it. Like and share our page. And uh, that puts you automatically in the draw. And I'll tell you what, it's a pretty epic prize. So, yeah. So, I'll be, you know, it costs nothing. It's free. So, you'll get a good prize before Christmas. And we've also uh, looking at doing a Christmas promo before Christmas. So, um, yeah, like and share, guys. And um, thanks for listening. Um, yeah. Anything you anything else you'd like to add, Willie? Any jokes? You got any jokes? Oh, here we go again. Joke. Uh, what do you what do you call a deer with no legs? What do you call a deer with no legs? <laughs> what? Right here. What do you call a deer with no eyes? <laughs> what do you call no a deer? Idea. Nice. No idea. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, somebody send us some jokes. <laughs> this guy. This guy. Someone send us some jokes. In. What are you doing? I got another one. I got another one. Hang on. Oh, we're what running out of time. No we're running out of time. What do you call a deer with no eyes and no legs? Patrick's going flat. Still no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need to get off it before we lose all our customers and our, and our, and our, <laughs> and our, and our people. So, anyway. You never warned me about these jokes. <laughs> anyway, take care folks take care everybody <laughs> have a good day and yeah, we'll catch you uh awesome, catch you next week catch you next week we've got a special guest coming on that uh it's going to explain a little bit more about about this business and he's really cool guy he's a really really cool guy good close personal friend of ours and um yeah can't wait to talk with him also we have up and coming other other businesses and other people coming on that they want to want to come and showcase their businesses and showcase everything about them and their lives so we're going to be having these people on 
as we as we progress. So yeah, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna get better and better. Okay, guys. So yep, you fellas have a good day, and um, yeah, we'll catch you later. Catch you guys. <laughs>